Hey guys, so today basically what I wanted to talk to you about was this 1995 Rugby World Cup final print. It's quite amazing how much there is actually talk about this, both about the story of it and the print itself. I'm sure every South African knows the story of the 1995 Rugby World Cup, but I'm just going to talk about it again for the international viewers. Basically, South Africa had just come out of apartheid. We missed, we weren't allowed to participate in the first um, two Rugby World Cups, the 1987 and 1991. So 1995 was the first one we were allowed to be in. That apartheid was officially over. It was hosted in South Africa, and basically no one really gave us a chance in the World Cup. I mean, we were written from the start. Obviously, there were um, good reasons for that. I mean, we hadn't been playing rugby of that level um, consistently because of apartheid. Teams didn't want to tour here and we weren't allowed to tour there. So really, we were written off from the start. Um, and the first game, because the hosts played the defending champions, it was against Australia, and that's when we really made our mark. We have the results. They have the results there. We beat Australia 27-18, the first game, and that really was a, a huge moment for South Africa. No one gave us a chance in that game. Um, but even after that, many people wrote it off as a fluke and they didn't think that it was just maybe Australia were rusty or something and the occasion was so huge for us that we just pulled something out of the hat that we wouldn't be able to again. But then we went on to play Romania, who we also beat 21-8. Went on to play Canada, who we beat 20-0. Quarter-final, we played Western Samoa, we won 42-14. Semi-final, we played versus France, and we won 19-15. That game, it was raining like anything. They wanted to call the match off because of how bad the rain was. The field was like a swimming pool. It was so wet. And if they did call that match off, France would have gone through because they had the better discipline. We had got more red cards in them. But luckily, they did get through that match, and somehow we managed to win it. So it got we got to the final up against New Zealand. And really, I know I've been saying the whole time no one gave us a chance, but <laughs> against New Zealand, really no one gave us a chance. They were, they dominated the World Cup. They were the dominant team in rugby for years. They always have been. Um, take a look at their results and you'll see why. They beat Ireland 43-19. They beat Wales 34-9. They beat Japan 145-17. 145 that's just ridiculous. In the quarterfinal, 48-30, they beat Scotland. 18-point victory when it's supposed to be the top teams um, that were that are competing from the knockout stages. And then in the semi-final, another comfortable victory, 45-29 over England. So that set up the final in Ellis Park. Um, sold out Ellis Park. And it, we stayed in it, to the surprise of many. We kept... we. Traded penalties, three point, three point, three point, and at full time the scores were actually level, so they took it to extra time. And basically, what this picture is is the drop goal, South Africa's drop goal that won us the World Cup, to the amazement of every of the world, really. Um, a glorious moment. It was actually taken by a fan. The sprint, special moment in the history of South Africa, and it was something that the country needed. You know, um, the first time black and whites were. All were equal and could do everything. Black people could go to the games, sit where the white people could sit. Um, and what this what this did was it really united us as a country. So it was important for like the country as a whole that we won this. So there's a lot of like um, importance of this World Cup win that goes far beyond just the game of sport. So basically, then looking at this print, there's someone though. One of the South Africans that will never ever be seen in this picture because where this picture was taken, it was taken by a fan. The guy's directly behind the post, so you never see him. You can see like a, a mark and you see it there. I don't know if you can. He's basically just over there. There's a black mark over there. But no, you can't really see him. If you're looking at it off camera, you can, but barely, barely, barely. So here... And then over here, you can see all the camera people taking photos of the um, final moment, the winning moment. If you take a look down there at that guy, you see how he's celebrating? So he wasn't really doing his job. He was celebrating with everyone and not taking the photos. 
So he actually got fired for that. So yeah, the greatest moment in South African sports history. One of the worst moments for him, I guess, is <laughs> getting fired for that. Um, so yeah, guys, that's basically what I wanted to tell you about this print. I hope you enjoyed this video. Cheers.